Hello guys, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC interview question and answer series by netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dubey. As in our previous two videos, we had learned about the ASP.NET MVC lifecycle event as well as we had learned about the request pipeline. So as promised, in this video, we are going to encounter the third most very popular interview question in, in uh, ASP.NET MVC jobs, which are what are HTTP handlers? Now, well, this is a most third most popular interview question. So by the end of the video, we are going to learn what is HTTP handlers and how we can implement our own custom HTTP handlers in our ASP.NET MVC application by using Visual Studio. So let's get started. What are HTTP handlers? Now, as the name depict, HTTP handlers are the component or the class which handles the HTTP request. Now, to be uh, that's well just a layman definition. Well, if you want the technical definition, here it is. HTTP handlers are the classes that implements iHTTP handlers and generate a response to HTTP request. So let me just emphasize over again. HTTP handlers are the classes that implements iHTTP handlers and it generate a response to HTTP request. Well, there could be re, uh, HTTP handler reassignment in the lifecycle of request, but as far as ASP.NET MVC is concerned, only one HTTP handler execute and provide the response. Well, as far as the HTTP handlers are concerned, well, there are two phases actually that happens. The first phase is the selection and the second phase is the execution. Now, a map request handler and post map request handlers are the events in the life cycle which determines the HTTP handlers which are responsible for executing the request. Well, in this phase, only selection happens. Well, as far as the execution is concerned, we have request handler execute and post request handler execute, which are there in the lifecycle events, which help us to execute the HTTP handlers, which we determined earlier in the phase of the request cycle. So as you can see from this diagram, I guess, uh, I think it's visible to you now. Okay. So as you can see from this diagram of the HTTP handlers and the request lifecycle, well, there are two phases that actually happen. First is the ASP.NET HTTP handler selection and then we have HTTP handlers executes. So below this there are eight certain events that happens in between the HTTP handler selection as well as the execution. These are as follows. The first event is the begin request. Th second is resolve request cache. Third is the map request handler. Fourth is the acquired request state. Fifth is the request handler execute. Sixth is the update request cache. Seventh is the log the request and eighth but not least is the AND request. So now after answering this question that is what is HTTP handlers, an interviewer may ask have you ever implement your own custom HTTP handler or uh, how you can create your own HTTP handlers by using uh, custom classes. So by, this end, by the end of this video we are, uh, you, are, you will be able to answer how we can create our own custom HTTP handlers where we can put our logic of based on the request. You can either log the request or you can perform certain uh, another kind of authentication or uh, authorization or any stuff like that you want to do before the request executes. So, uh, so let's get started. So in order to create your own HTTP handlers, you just need to create a class of your own name or you can uh, create according to your needs. And uh, well, just you just need to implement iHTTP handler interface. Now, after implementing the iHTTP handlers, it exposes two members, which are is reusable and process request. Well, is reusable is a, a property which will by default return false, but you can return true. That means whether the request we are uh, performing is reusable or you want to reuse the request logic again and again. So you can return true according to your need. Well, as far as the process request is concerned, it is a method where the main stuff is happening. So before you execute any request, this process request met, uh, method encounters. So here you can put your uh, logic based on logging. And currently uh, in this video, we are going to use just a simple hello world technique. So you just need to don't need to bother about that since this video is concerned only about the basic knowledge of HTTP handler. So and how you can implement your own custom HTTP handler. So Let's dive into the demo section of it. So welcome to demo on how to create your own custom HTTP handler by using ASP.NET MVC Visual Studio 2013. So what I'm going to do now is 
I'm going to create my first class called as Aditya HTTP Handler, which would be, of course, HTTP Handler class, which will handle the incoming request. So all I need to do is just right click on App Start folder. You can create your uh, HTTP Handler class anywhere if you want. You can create even inside the root directory as well. So what we need to do is just right click, click on add, and then select the class. Now name your class according to your needs. So for now, I'm going to just name it as Aditya Handler, Aditya HTTP Handler .cs. Now Visual Studio created a class for us. So all we need to do just now is just inherit or sorry, just implement the ISTTP Handler interface. So I'm going to type ISTTP Handler and to implement this interface, just right click on HTTP Handler, click on implement interface and that's it. Visual Studio generated the properties as well as method for us. Now as discussed, is reusable is a property which can return boolean type value. So for this instance, we are going to just return uh, true because we want our request to be reusable. So, so let's just mark at it as reusable return true. Now the process request method is a method where majority of stuff or the, the main part happens. So we are just going to print out hello world in this case. So in order to print hello world, you just need to use the context object type response and use the right method and inside the right parameter type hello Aditya. That's it. So as soon as my request hit, I want hello Aditya to be displayed. You can write your own custom logic over here according to your need. So after that, we are going to create one request context object. So in order to create request context object, you just need to type public request context name the request context object as request context details. So set get method and resolve this by using system .web outing. Now we are not done yet because we are going to create one parameterized constructor for Aditya HTTP handler class. Now how will we create parameterized constructor? Just type public followed by the class name and inside that we are going to use the request context object. Now you can name it as anything you like. I am naming request con and we are going to initialize this request context object with this request context value. So I am just going to type request con. Now we are done with HTTP handler class. Now we need to for this HTTP handler, we need one route handler which will handle or which will route our request. So to create our own custom route handler, just right click, click on add and just click on class. Now the name of route handler would be anything if you want, but I'm not going to name it as Aditya route handler.cs. So every route handler implement iRoute handler interface. So in order to implement iRoute handler, you just need to type iRoute handler and since this package name is not imported yet. So just right click on it, click on resolve. So package is imported successfully. Now implement this interface called as iRoute handler. Now, as you can see, when we implemented our interface, you get to see the method which returns ISTP handler and whose name is get HTTP handler. Now here in this route handler, which is Aditya route handler, we are going to return our new HTTP hand, uh, handler class. So let me just type return new Aditya HTTP handler and inside that I'm going to pass the request context object. So this will hit the constructor or the parameterized constructor which we have created inside the Aditya HTTP handler which will initialize the request context variable for us. Now we are done with route handler as well as the HTTP handler. Now the final step which we need to do is register our HTTP handler inside the route.config file. So route.config.cs contains the uh, routing collection. So here we can add our own custom routes. So to add our own custom routes, just type routes followed by the add and inside that you just need to type new route. Now here you just need to supply the path where the request will be received or the request will be invoked. So I'm going to use the home controller and inside the home controller, if the user types or executes this Aditya action method, 
this router this route handler will going to invoke so i'm going to type my route handler name which is as aditya route handler and that's it so that's how we register our route handler which will eventually call our http handler and that's how we can print hello aditya on the screen now since we created uh, the route handler routing point to home slash aditya and inside our controller called as home we just need to create one uh, action method called as aditya so inside the home we are going to create a, one action method which will be called when user will going to invoke this so let's just type action result and you just need to type aditya which will simply return view we don't need to create a view for it because at the end uh, http handler will going to invoke and print the hello aditya on the screen so we are done yet so all we need to do now is just mark the breakpoint so that we can understand how the http handler is going to invoke now i'm going to since the process request method is going to be executed anyhow so i'm going to mark this breakpoint to the process request method now let's just run this application wait for a while so our application is loading so as you can see our application loaded successfully now we are going to invoke the home slash aditya method so so that we can see how our http handler will get invoked so just type home slash aditya and when you press enter you get to see the breakpoint hits the process request as we previously marked our breakpoint to process request now let's just press f5 to continue and you will get to see hello aditya printed on the screen which will actually which is actually the hello world uh, hello aditya from the process request inside the http handler class so that's how we can create our own custom http handler and we can write our own custom logic according to our need for logging purpose or anything you want to do for this http re handler request so that's it for now i hope you liked it if you have any suggestions or doubt please do let me ask in the youtube comment section your suggestions are always welcome and uh, i'm going to continue this uh, interview question and answer series for now so if you have any questions please do let me ask in the youtube comment section and uh, below this below the description box you can find out the social contact link of my linkedin profile as well as from my facebook and twitter page so just comment on it if you like it and hit like and bye bye until then enjoy life bye bye